students good afternoon and welcome back to chakravarti e classroom see students today we are going to discuss some questions from profit and loss all these questions are collected from recently conducted competitive exams only so that you can feel the questions of the examination real questions real environment you can feel and by the way already we have posted all these questions in our telegram channel and uh, most of the students must have finished that one and these questions come under a little moderate questions not very advanced questions and that to not uh, basic questions also moderate to a little advanced i can say as far as the current trend is concerned new pattern questions are concerned nowadays they are giving questions more than this difficulty level but you should understand this one properly to go for very advanced level questions okay and uh, what i advise one more thing before watching these videos the students who are our regular students who have taken the course purchased the course i advise you to go through all basic classes of profit and loss foundation classes then come back to this one okay and the students who have not yet taken admission and watching this one also there is no problem i'll give the complete concept don't worry but in a very very quick way in a nutshell i'll give you so that even you can also understand that one those students who are ha having basics uh, you keep some timing for this one each question should be solved less than one minute one minute is the maximum time for this one for the beginners don't worry about the timing first understand the problem and go for the question accuracy is important for you okay right now let's go for this question how they have given ramu sold an article for 201 rupees simple statement they have given i told you the techniques while doing quant questions while reading the question only you have to completely understand that one and try to get the data in a proper way and get one blueprint in your mind how to go for the solution right first is simple statement uh, ramu sold an article uh, for 201 rupees they have given the selling price keep in the mind had he sold it for 255 rupees means had he sold is sold the same product or article for more than 201 255 they have given he would have got four times profit compared to the previous one when he sold the product for 201 there was some profit okay now what they have given if uh, like had he sold it for 255 rupees he would have got four times profit four times the profit when we when he sold it for 201 hope you understood the simple point right ah, four times profit compared to the previous one then what will be the profit percent if the same article is sold for 244 rupees this is the question students now how to go for this one simple way in a very simple way you can go for that what is the question actually they are asking for the profit percent and they have given the selling price just recollect the basic students selling price is given profit percentage is profit percent they are asking for what else you require go for profit percentage when they have given selling price obviously you should know the cost price if you know the cost price you can find out the profit using this new selling price and finding out percentage is not at all an issue for you so now you need to find out the cost price just observe the question carefully students all the places they have given indirectly cost price is same yes or no when he sold it for 201 same cost price one cost price was there but when he sold that one for 255 rupees same cost price cost price was same there right even when he wants to sell that one for 244 to know the profit percentage when if it is sold for 244 even in that case also cost price is same now you got the idea one that thing should come to your mind very quick that cost price is same i need to find out the cost price first selling price is given then i can easily find out the profit and converting that one to profit percentage it's not a big issue this is how you need to get the blueprint if you go in this way students in the basic classes i told you clearly you will maintain 200 percent accuracy and automatically you will get the speed this is the analysis okay right now let me go for this one now my task is to find out the cost price but they have given two selling prices how to go for this one let me go in this way students i'm just taking this one one second right i'm just going for the selling price ah, what is that selling price i'm writing here selling price one i'm writing okay what is this selling price one first selling price he sold it for 201 
okay in the second case they have given selling price to right had he sold it for 255 rupees he would have got four times the profit four times the profit when he sold it for 201 okay now take the difference between these two 255 minus 201 you do 54 rupees 50 the difference between both the selling price is 54 rupees keep it at one side now go to the profit here so they have given profit one and profit to compare these two using ratio concept i told you in arithmetic you have to use two three concepts together to like uh, reduce the time in the examination if you go for this one when you compare the second profit to the fourth uh, first one uh, that is of uh, four times that means the ratio between first profit and second profit is uh, one is to four as simple as this one 1 is to 4. Now you do one thing, simple shortcut we use. What is the difference between these two? Right? So one part is this one, four parts this one. Difference is three parts. Yes or no? Think a little logically, students. These three parts can be equalized to 54. Yes or no? How that is? This is this is difference between two selling price and this is between the ratio of the terms in the ratio of profit there. How can you equalize these two? Think a little logically. Here, cost price is same. Here and here, cost price is same. But from here to here, profit got fourfolded four times. That means difference between profit is equal to difference between selling price. Because cost price is same. When he sold it for this much, he got some profit. When he sold for the like at this much 255, he got some profit. The difference between both the profits is nothing but a difference between two selling prices. Accepted. Very simple one. Now simply students, three parts in this ratio, three parts is equal to 54. This is how exactly you have to do the questions. Then I need the first profit. Why I need the first profit? If I know this profit, the first profit, if you deduct that profit from the selling price, you will get the cost price. My target is to find out the cost price. Yes or no? Now simply, three parts is equal to 54. One part is equal to how much? You know the unitary method. So that is, that is nothing but 54 by 3. That is 80. 18 okay 18 3 is 54 now this 18 is nothing but uh, the profit he got uh, when he sold the product at uh, 201 rupees now i think this is crystal clear for you this idea should come to you students think it over do you need to write anything on the paper for this one to explain this one i am writing this on the board for you no need to write that one because when they have given that the profit is four folded four times profit means uh, the ratio between first and second profit is one is to four difference is one part four parts difference three parts this three parts is equal to 54 because cost price is same the difference between both the selling price must be equal to difference between profits only yes or no now very clearly three parts is equal to this much uh, one part this this profit is how much means 18 rupees so when he sold the product for 201 18 rupees was the profit now clearly students selling price 201 18 rupees profit what is the cost price i'm writing here simply for all the cases all the three cases uh, cost price is 201 minus 18 what is 201 minus 18 first you do 200 minus 18 you do add one for that one 200 minus 18 200 minus 10 190 190 minus 8 182 182 plus 1 183 simple one this one okay now students in this case cost price is 183 even here also cost price 183 and here cost price is 183 and finally what would be the profit percent if the article is sold at 244 selling price is 244 now what is the profit in this case go for the profit how to go for this one 244 minus 183 or 183 plus what will give you 244 183 plus 17 17 is 200 then 44 44 plus 17 you do 44 54 64 54 64 64 but i need to go for only uh, how much this one 17 only i have added see what i'm doing here 244 plus 20 i am doing you doing here that is 2 
64 but i have to add only 17 so deduct 3 there so that is 61 simply 183 plus 17 plus 20 i have done plus 44 i have done so that is equal to 61 so i am keeping 61 profit is 61 profit is 61 as simple as this one okay now i need to find out the profit percentage so profit percentage is net profit divided by cost price 183 multiplied by 100 as simple as this one if you go for this one this is 63 is a 180 133 so total three times here my answer is a 100 by 3 percent 100 by 3 percent is nothing but a 33 1 by 3 percentage as simple as this one now you got the idea no need to write anything on the paper simply ratio you take difference equal to this one so i need the profit here so one part i have found out then after that you just proceed like this easily you can go for that one hope you must have got the idea then go for the options here first option second third fourth is cannot be determined fifth is none of this 33 1 by 3 percent is not there among the options so my answer is this much my answer is this one but my option is uh, none of this. What do you mean by none of this? None of the given options is true. I have got this answer which is not there among the options. So my answer is uh, finally my option is option number E is the final one. Some students may ask like this also. Why to go for this one to get this cost price? Why can't we use this also? You can use even that one also. Half that is students here when he sold it for 201 the profit was 18 rupees okay then when he is selling this one at this price profit should be four times of that one that means uh, 72 18 into 4 that is 72 in this case profit is 72 now in this case 255 minus 72 again you will get same 183 and if you go a little further one part is equal to 18 four parts is equal to 72 anyway you will get that one so you take any one of the uh, selling price so that you can get the answer hope you got the idea see students next time onwards when you come across this type of questions try not to write anything on the paper or at least a little on the paper not more than that okay now go for the next question students take the second one ah even this one also i think almost all the students must have finished this question simple one how they have given kiran sold an article at a certain price we don't know the selling price then the ratio between selling price and market price is 80 is to 103 and he made a profit of 25 percent in this transaction then find the ratio between cost price and the market price is the question see students if the final question is based on percentages or ratios you are lucky enough in the examination because uh, when final question is based on percentage or ratio you can start the question with your convenient numbers and finally you have to uh, like compare the result of it your convenient numbers with that of the numbers given in the question to find out the final percentage or ratio so we can use any number you want because finally the ratio is not going to be changed percentage is not going to be changed you know that one okay in the basic classes i told you while explaining the unitary method now you start this one students selling selling price and market price ratio is 80 is to 103 selling price is to market price 80 is to 103 okay so for our convenience uh, convenience uh, students you take uh, selling price as 80 rupees only it doesn't matter and cost price as 103 rupees it doesn't matter 80 rupees selling price 103 cost price ratio is nothing but minimum minimum comparison that is comparison with the least terms yes you know that okay now here you say selling price 80 and market price is 103 now with the help of this profit percentage you need to find out the cost price then you can take the comparison between market and cost price or cost price to market price i need to find out a cost price to market price ratio i need to find out and very simply i have taken 80 rupees as the selling price and in this transaction he got a profit of 25 percent 
you know this one students within seconds you can find out the cost price because profit percentage is given and selling price is given within seconds you can find out the cost price when you get the cost price that cost price is to market price is going to be your final answer as simple as this one cost price is to uh, this one market price is going to be your final answer okay so here this option is a little wrong actually it is 109 is to uh, 630 I think or 109 is to 63 I think 109 is to 63 I think okay and moreover they have given the options you see 103 is present only in this one probably this is your answer but we can't say because none of this is also there okay let's do this one simple students selling price 80 and uh, profit percentage is 25 finding out cost cost price is very simple how to go for this one two methods i have shown you in our basic classes what is that one selling price 80 profit is 25 that means on the cost price cost price plus 25 percent is 80 always cost price should be taken as 100 percent 100 plus 25 125 percent of cost price is equal to 80 then cost price is nothing but 100 percent 100 percent is how much as simple as this one this is 100 by 125 into 80 so 25 fives 25 fours then this is 5 16 80 so this is 64 is the cost price yes or no got the clarity I, I have given this one in the basic classes when 80 is the selling price 25 percent profit uh, selling price i am defining in terms of the cost price uh, 125 percent of the cost price is 80 then 100 percent is how much you can get it basic sessions i told you or else you can directly with the directly go with the fractions method also what is that fractions method simply in the basic sessions i have given you this one to understand the concept then after that we went with some fraction methods what is fraction method students here 25 percent profit so 25 percent is nothing but 1 by 4 okay now this 4 is the cost price 4 parts I, I am telling you 4 parts cost price 1 part is a profit if you add cost price and profit you will get a selling price that means here cost price is four parts selling price is four plus one five five parts so here five parts is selling price four parts is cost price so now in the given one they have given the selling price i will do in this way five parts five parts means ah, here five parts is equal to 80 four parts is equal to how much four by five into 80 both are same now you see here four by five into 80 the difference between this method and this method is here we are going a step ahead everything is done in the mind only even here also you can do in the mind so 125 percent is 80 100 percent how much or 25 percent profit is nothing but one by four so one by four fraction is telling us that one is profit one part is profit out of four parts four parts is cost price so profit plus cost price will give me selling price that is five parts five parts is 80 four parts is how much that is four by five into 80 i told you still further also directly you can multiply 80 with four by five to get the cost price there got the clarity right so here cost price is 64 market price is 103 my answer is 64 is to 103 is the final answer for us got the clarity this is how exactly you need to do the question see students first basic sessions are important for you learn the concept after that do the questions as quick as possible while learning the concept only you need to maintain the accuracy speed will come automatically to you okay now go for the next question quickly ah this one you do this is also a good question a shopkeeper marks sugar 40 percent above the cost price okay first he marked 40 percent above the cost price he allows a discount of 20 percent or 25 percent to the customers as the part of a mega offer but he weighs only 800 grams instead of 1 kg instead of 1000 grams at the time of sales what is his overall profit in this transaction he's a dishonest person right first what he has done he purchase the product at some price that article 
on that cost price he had marked that one 40% above the cost price suppose he bought it for 100 140 rupees he marked listed list price marked price all these things are same right he marked list or labeled labeled that one as 140 rupees actually he purchased that one for only 100 rupees but he marked it for 140 rupees thereby like a 40 percent profit is there for him but he is not selling the product at that price on that 140 rupees he is allowing a discount of 25 percent still he is in profit still he is in profit but he is not satisfied with that profit again he has cheated the customer here instead of giving instead of giving 1000 grams of sugar at the time of sales he is giving only 800 grams that means he is benefited in two ways now now you need to find out what is the final profit percentage for him in this transaction again students the question is asked on percentages what is the percentage when it is in percentages you are at your liberty you can start the question with any number you want okay now i'm starting this one as i have just given you an example i'm taking the cost price of that one as 100 rupees okay then he marked 40 percent above that one so market price is 140 rupees but he is allowing a discount of 20 percent always remember students discount must be taken out from the market price market price minus discount will give me the selling price you know the basic thing right so now selling price is you need to deduct you need to give a discount of 25 percent on this one simple students from 140 you have to deduct 25 percent what will be remaining 75 percent will be remaining 75 percent is nothing but uh, 3 by 4 now selling price is 140 into 3 by 4 that is the selling price because 25 percent gone from 140 remaining is 75 75 is nothing but uh, 3 by 4 or if you want to go with purely percent uh, this one uh, fractions 25 percent is nothing but 1 by 4 so now this is four parts one part four minus one that is three remaining is three by four that that way also you can do so just go for the simplification here so this is a four three is twelve four three is twelve I'm, I'm writing three here four three is twelve okay two is remaining four fives over now 35 into 3 13 to 3 19 5 into 3 uh, 90 5 into 3 15 one not five enough simple done now my selling price is 105 and the cost price is 100 actually he should get a profit of only 5 percent okay when he sold sugar right uh, first he purchased for some price and marked 40 percent above that one and given 25 percent of the discount uh, he should get uh, honestly he should get only five percent profit because hundred and uh, this is 105 so he should get only five percent profit but he is a dishonest person he cheated the customer by giving only 800 grams instead of 1000 grams now how much is he going to get the final profit to go for that one in the basic classes i have shown you students this method simple method you use in this way actually 100 rupees was original cost price but because of the manipulation the cost price will become less than 100 how is that in place of 1000 grams in place of 1000 grams he is giving only 800 grams that means he purchased he purchased 1000 grams for 100 rupees or, or imaginary figure then when 1000 grams is costing him 100 rupees 800 grams will cost him how much you go in this way the simplest method okay thousand grams costing him hundred rupees but at the time time of sales he is not giving thousand grams he is giving only 800 grams actually what is the cost of 800 grams you find out because this 105 is nothing but selling price of 800 grams not selling price of thousand grams when selling price of 800 grams is 105 to find out the actual profit you need to find out cost price of 
of 800 grams not 1000 grams so here 1000 grams is costing 100 rupees 800 grams would cost him how much means that is 800 divided by 1000 into 100 there is a shortcut for this also but you learn this one first we'll go for that one later now here how many zeros one two three four here three zeros three three gone here that is 80 rupees actually you need not calculate that one thousand grams are costing 100 rupees 800 grams will cost 80 rupees only now here actually 80 rupees is the cost price of 800 grams 105 is the selling price of 800 grams so now here this is cost price this is selling price so selling price minus cost price will give me the profit so what is the profit here 80 plus 20 plus this one 525 so 25 rupees profit upon 80 rupees you know this one profit or loss percentage will always be reckoned on the cost price only not the selling price okay so clearly 20 by 25 by 80 is the fraction i need to convert that one into percentages multiplied by 100 just go for this one quickly students here 420s and 425s okay so this is 5 fours 5 fives enough 125 by 4 125 by 4 okay this is the percentage and you can go with the uh, point wise or mixed fraction this is 4 3 is 12 okay and 4 1 is 4 1 is remaining that is 10 4 2s and 4 5s here my answer is 31.25 is the final answer hope you must have understood this one students i taught uh, as if all of you are average and below average students only by considering a beginner here okay so if you are an advanced student uh, just try to understand this one in two steps only what are the two steps here cost price mark price and what is the selling price 100 and 105 but this 105 is the selling price of 800 grams now cost price of 800 grams is not 100 80 finally my profit is 25 by 80 in terms of percentage into 100 31.25 is the final answer learn the concept in this way students you can you can do miracles in the examination okay right go for the next question here ah, next one next one you do how they have given Ramesh Gupta has a consignment worth 6000 rupees with him he sold 3 by 5th of it at a profit of 10% for how much profit should he sell the remaining consignment to get overall profit of 35 we have done tens of questions in our regular course right so only one step is required for the answer I'll tell you uh, first let me explain the simple shortcut for this type of students uh, this type of uh, question students after that I'll show you the elaborated or comprehensive method what is the simple shortcut here 3 by 5th only 2 parts are there sometimes they give 3 parts sometimes 4 parts how many parts may be the method is same what is that only 2 parts are there 3 by 5th is sold out for some profit and remaining is 2 by 5th only you just make a grid here 3 by 5th 3 plus 2 overall is 5 that's it okay simple shortcut this one so for three parts how much he had sold for 10 percent three parts into 10 percent i am taking this one as 30 okay and overall how much he is expecting 35 five parts into 35 percent he is expecting what what it should be so 30 into 5 that is 150 then 5 into 5 25 175 he is expecting okay now simple students this is 30 this is 175 how much uh, what should be the number first after that i'll go for the answer so 175 minus 30 should come here what is 175 minus 30 145 here the product this two parts into what percent he has to sell this is the my answer okay so three parts into 10 percent I am taking this one as 30% just for our understanding. Now overall 5 into 35. Okay. So that is uh, 175. Let's take it as percentage also. It doesn't matter for us. Right. So that is 5 into 35. 175. So part of that one he sold for 10. 
right overall this much he should get then how much he has to sell the remaining the profit the profit for how much profit percentage he has to sell the remaining two parts that is here the figure should be 120 145 now 2 into what will give you 145 so observe this one students 2 into 70 will give me 140 then i need to get 5 also 2 into what will give you 5 2 and a half so here 72 and a half that's it half that's my answer 2 into 72 and a half is equal to 145 now now as far as the question is concerned i'll explain you with this one simple out of the total consignment here three parts are sold at 10 percent okay and overall profit five parts into 35 percent should be there as overall profit for him so three parts he sold for 10 percent for how much he has to sell the remaining two parts to get overall profit of 35 percent so i did it as per as per my convenience what is that three into ten that is thirty 2, 5 into 35 175 175 minus 30 this should come as 45 but uh, my answer lies here so 2 into what percent will give you what percent in the sense what number will give me 145 72 to uh, 72 and a half this 72 and a half is my answer he has to sell the remaining one the remaining consignment at 72 and a half percentage profit to get overall profit of 35 uh, percent okay now simply here 72 and a half yes i am getting this one in option number c now you got the idea students here i have not utilized uh, this figure 6000 actually what is the method for this one if you want to go by the comprehensive method first 6000 into how much uh, 3 by 5 he sold at 10 percent profit you will get one figure so that is nothing but uh, profit here okay these two zeros i am taking out this is uh, two zeros okay so this should be 12 okay so this is 360 360 rupees is the profit you have to do in this way right overall profit he is expecting 35 percent so 6000 into 35 percent you have to do you will get one figure overall profit minus this profit uh, the rest of the profit must be earned uh, on two parts of uh, two parts out of five into six thousand that is uh, 2400 so that number divided by 2400 into 100 will give you the answer but why to go for that one when you have this simple shortcut uh, for all questions i have researched it don't worry for all questions of this type uh, directly you can go for this one sometimes it may be profit sometimes it may be loss when it is loss this value will become minus value loss means minus profit means plus overall you have to do and this way within seconds you can do the questions hope you must have got the idea students right so this is of this is enough for this class total four questions from profit and loss i have expect i have explained here uh, before concluding this one students uh, many students are asking sir we would like to join your regular courses see students uh, I'll continue this one you don't worry I'll continue the free classes but my advice is uh, join the regular course who have not joined uh, join the regular course because you will not get the time you are losing now because I researched everything reasoning quant and uh, English I'll give the ready-made food for you just go for that one don't waste the time on researching just join the course i kept the fee also very very less very reasonable one you see I'm, i i kept the fees for entire year for one year course 4600 you will get all the courses all the chapters in that one right and for six months if you want to join only for six months i think that is 3600 want to join only for three months 2600 more than 400 hours of videos are there study material is there chapter wise tests are there mock tests are there sectional tests are there what else you need so just uh, join the course join the regular course and try to get the basic to moderate level questions i have given many many points many points are there particularly in analytical reasoning high level reasoning and uh, uh, quantitative aptitude english also I, I i dealt from the basic level it's going to be advantages for you if at all you want to join you can directly visit our website chakravartisar.com 
create a trial account see some more free videos once you get satisfied then go for that that is one way second one is simply download our new mobile app from the google play store uh, that is chakravarti e classroom new app new app we have two apps you download the new app watch some 10 15 free videos then join the course keep a target and take it as challenge and try to get what you want in your life thank you very much students